Welcome back to the Sunny Talk Spurs YouTube channel. And I've got to say a massive apology. It's been ages since I've done an upload. And the reason for that is, and if you follow me on my social media, I'm out here in Germany. I'm not, you know, I'm in my hotel room at the moment. But at the moment, I am in Dusseldorf recording this after that dramatic game, England 2, Slovakia one and it's been such a whirlwind of a couple of weeks been out here with obviously talk sport who i work for it's been amazing it's been you know world class it's been once in a lifetime honestly being at that game last night was truly outstanding so yeah follow me on my socials links will be in my description down below and you can see you know what i've been getting up to been interviewing the players um in Erfurt, in Weimar, you know, at the training ground, at the Schloss, which means castle in German, met like so many of the players, Saka, Konza, Dunk, Rice, Pickford, all of them, all of them have been interviewed by TalkSport, so you can go and check that out on the TalkSport YouTube channel as well. But today's video, I wanted to do a little reaction, obviously, to my time and you know, I haven't uploaded for ages, so I wanted to, you know, give something back to the Sunny Talk Spurs audience. But today, some transfer lines I wanted to talk to. But before I get on to my main topic of the conversation, which links to the England um, result, I want to talk about Tottenham's signing of Archie Gray from Leeds for about £40 million, it's looking like, with Joe Roden potentially going the other way for 10 So it's a bit like how we did the Winks and James Madison deal with Leicester uh, last season. But Archie Gray, obviously, right back come centre mid as well. You know, plays both positions really, really well. Looks so comfortable. English, so it helps the quarter. Really, really happy about this signing. And the fact that we beat Brentford to this signing is outstanding. Because I said this a couple of... Um, I think I said this last season as well. With our stat-based signing uh, programme and model at the football club, we are basically... And I said, we should be beating the likes of Brentford and Brighton to these signings because, you know, they've been made famous for plucking out players from, you know, lower leagues, from other leagues around Europe. I know Archie Gray was quite a high profile figure in Leeds's uh, promotion push last year. Obviously, they failed at the final hurdle in the playoff final against Southampton. And, you know, he was a known entity, as I say. But it's still that point of like, you know, we should have a say. We should be able to get these signings. We are a big six club, so this is really good news for the football club. You know, we need a new fullback. Emerson Royale might be leaving, and a good midfield cover as well. You know, a potential midfield of Saar, Bergvall, and Archie Gray looks very, very good. So I'm very happy about that. But now, moving on to the main crux of this video. And after watching England and certain substitutes... Uh, that actually involves a lot of players that have been linked with Spurs in recent months, including Conor Gallagher, who I've, people know my opinions on Conor Gallagher. I don't think he is a good signing for Spurs. And with the signing of Archie Gray, I feel like this is now, you know, dead in the water. And then obviously, you know, a couple of players that I've met in the England camp, Eberici, uh Eza, really, really good when he came on yesterday as well. Would love... Um, to sign him. He was my last video that I did about a month or so ago. So go and check that out if you haven't already. But my argument, my plea to Tottenham after his performance yesterday coming on is go and sign Ivan Tony as our new striker. I've said it before and I'm now going to hammer it home. When he came on yesterday, he was outstanding. He was the first player we've interviewed at TalkSport in the England camp. He was, you know, Really, the thing is with Ivan Tony as well, a lot of people think he's got a bit of cockiness to him. I think it's a good air of arrogance. And I think that air of arrogance is what sets you apart as a footballer. He is, you know, a really good presence up top for any team he plays in. I think he would be perfect for this Ange Postacoglu team as well. You know, just... You know, really good with his back to goal, really good aerially. He could be the perfect finisher. And if that goal had gone in uh, to make it 3 1 towards the end, remind me of Balotelli uh, in Euro 2012, where he did the old thingy celebration. The way he hit was so good, but just amazing assist for the header. Uh, really good at blocking off a player as well for Bellingham's goal, um, which was, I think, missed in normal time. So I just really think that he could be the one 
So just, you know, a lot, another Englishman as well will be really good for the quota. I just really like the sort of players we're being linked with this summer. Um, just some really good potential um, and obviously some proven player, a proven player in Ivan Tony, and who a lot of people say like his attitude, his, you know, all this sort of, you know, the betting allegations and like all that sort of stuff as well. But I feel like we could put that to one side and he is ready for that step up and this is a good step up for him. I'm not sure if the likes of Chelsea or Arsenal will now go for him. I feel they'll look at other targets. And I think you could get him out of Brentford for a reasonable fee. I think you could pay about 40-odd million and probably get him. And I feel like Thomas Frank's side would, you know, let him go for that. I feel like there is a lot of scope to, for that to happen. Um, so, yeah, I really... I just love the idea of it. I just really love the idea of it. Having like, you know, thinking of having him on the end of like James Madison passes and linking up with Sun and Kulisevsky or Brennan Johnson. I like the squad we're sort of building at Spurs and the signs we're going down. You know, don't get me wrong, we're putting a lot of money down for like the likes of Archie Gray, but they're they're good talents. You know, they're not like, you know, we're gone are the days of trying to get a Brian Hill or someone like that. I feel like we're actually being more astute with our signings. We're sort of ripping up the book of our scouting system. The likes of Johan Lang, Fabio Paratici, with Scott Munn uh, as technical director as well. I feel like this is how the club has been wanting to be run for a long time. And Daniel Levy is finally, you know, letting people at the club do the football side of it. And he's sticking to the business side. So, yeah, really good acquisitions if we can make those happen but, you know, we're still quite early. You know, for, this is out on the 1st of July, this video. It's a long summer ahead uh, of transfers and potential transfers. You know, Euros is still got about three or so, two or so weeks left um, with hopefully England bringing it home. Whoever knows how we'll get on against the Swiss. I do worry about the Swiss, but maybe Tony might, you know, Tony showed a bit more than Kane in that game. Kane looking a very sluggish after a hectic season with Bayern Munich. So, Tony, I just really like the idea of it. I think the other transfer strikers like Santiago Jimenez and Gokarez and all these other strikers we're being linked to, Dom Solanke, I feel like Tony just makes perfect sense. You know, we're not going to sign an Alexander Isak. We're not going to sign an Ollie Watkins. Tony is at the right place in his career for this move to be made. So, yeah, just a quick little video today, just sort of to get my thoughts out of there about my time in England, time in England, time with England, time in Germany, uh, and just sort of give my reaction to some of the transfer lines that have been coming out of the club. But, yeah, if you have enjoyed this, please leave a like on the video. I appreciate your support. Uh, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments on what you think of some of my takes. And also you can become a member, link in the description down below. I'll probably be posting more member videos when I'm back from the Euros. It's been so hectic out here, but I really appreciate your support and continued membership. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Auf Wiedersehen.